here. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded any videos recently. Been a bit busy, got a bit lazy, stuff like that. But uh, I'm here now, and I am actually starting a new series, Java. Okay, I am going to teach you Java. Uh, I've been doing this language for about a year and a half, kind of new to it. Haven't made any uh, actual games or any of that. Just make console applications right now but I am learning how so yeah one, once you get your Java IDE e open of course you can use notepad to do it but it doesn't correct your errors anyway I have NetBeans and Eclipse uh, tons of extensions for Eclipse like hundreds I have, I have the Android app making on it so that's pretty good Anyway, once you get your IDE, op IDE open, choose your workspace, etc., etc., click the new button. Or, you know, th this button right here. See? Or you can just go here and here, and so on. But, click this and make a new Java project. Okay, so, uh, pretty soon a window should pop up looks like this okay so type in your project name so this is I'm going to teach you about the basics in this okay this is the directories that uses this next when you click I change any so yeah I just click finish So once it does this, uh, you have your first project. See. So now you want to create a package. Uh, this the package is optional, but uh, uh, productions dot videos dot basics. I uh, can't end in a dot. It can be as long as you want, whatever you want. Just try and start with com. Okay. And uh, put it in the project slash source. Okay. So now you will have a new package. See? Basically that's the folders. So now I can create a new Java class, any of these here. But I do classes. Because uh, I know how to use class in Java. So if you're in the project, should auto load, but sometimes it doesn't, so you might need to type it in there. But I can do anything I want to name the class. Uh, let's just name it main. Uh, you want to start with a first or with an uppercase letter, otherwise, it'll pop up this. It's discouraged. So yeah and uh, you can auto click or you can click this and it'll auto generate it but I'm not going to do that I'm going to show you how to type it okay so now pretty soon another thing should pop up okay so he, this should pop up here okay you see this so on line 4 you want to or on line 5, you know, you want to, inside the public class, you want to do public static void main string square braces args and then curly braces and it should auto complete for you. Okay, and um, once you have this done, you can basically type anything you want. But there's also other things. Uh, void is similar to function in VB.net. So I can type strings. See? I can I can run a program here. It accepted. Okay. And in Java, most lines end with a sol a semicolon right here. Okay, so 
Now to start it off, I do not know how to clear the console quite yet. Uh, it gives me a little bit of trouble. But, um, hold on. Oh, it froze. Okay, which means it's loading. <laughs> Sorry about this, my uh, computer doesn't have that much RAM, RAM but uh, it's alright. Okay. So, sorry, I was just uh, experimenting a little bit. Um, so, once you uh, have this done, you want to print an output system.out.println. This will print a string or text or variable or whatever to the console, which I believe is where is the console? Okay, it's not open yet. Okay, so I will teach you user input, which is slightly harder. Uh, you know why? Why not? Let, why don't we do that now? Okay. So, to do in user input, first you need to import something. So you want to type import Java. Dot util. Dot scanner, and then end it with semicolon. Uh, ignore this. It's just unused. Okay. So now for the variables. Uh, here's some basic variables. So every time you do something inside this class you want to do public static or private static or void or any of those modifiers. So public static string. This is text. Uh, you don't need to put this. Hmm. Okay, this is a pub static string. Oh, forgot the name. Sorry. You want to name it? Okay. Don't forget the name. So now for integer, public static int. Okay. Don't need to give it a name, but an integer basically it's a whole number or a number in programming. It's a number. Uh, then there's the boolean. Okay. Double. Okay. So there there's a whole bunch of variables. But uh, here's the one we're going to use right now, along with the string, public static scanner s equals new scanner system.in. Okay. Uh, believe it or not, Java is actually meant to be user friendly, but I don't think so. It's actually pretty hard. So, yeah. Next, so you want to do, or to, to enable user input, type the name of a string equals the scanner, the name of the scanner, dot next line. Make sure you capitalize L. It will not autocorrect. Okay? And then end with semicolon. Sorry, that's my watch. Uh, gets annoying around this time of the day. But um, then, that is basically user input. There's tons of modifiers you can do, like dot two lower, which moves everything to lowercase, and then dot two upper, which is the op opposite. But we're just gonna stick with s dot next line because we don't want to alter what they type. Okay, so 
Now, I will show you how. Okay, string here. Okay, and then you type plus, and then the variable name. Uh, can be any variable, so I could do um, yeah. Okay, uh, double will be in the next video. I should be almost out of time now, but uh, hold on, let's see. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where the video length is, but I might need to cut this. Okay, so now that's basically this program. Okay, these will be explained in the next video, which I will upload right after this one, or I will record. Okay, so now if we click this button here, run, it will run this class. Okay, gotta save it first. Okay, so it asks me what my name is. I'm I'm just gonna type my alias. So uh, this is actually one of my or part of it. This is my alias here, or one of them. I'm just gonna type Z1. So now it says welcome Z1 and then terminates. Okay, so. I can actually make it to do this add a period at the end which will add a period at the end let's see see period right there period so here we go that concludes this video uh, don't forget to subscribe